Good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. I got some frost on the window this morning. I need to defrost my windshield real fast. Let me see if I can. Look at that. I'll be right there, people. Now, some would say, why not just put on the uh, defrosters? They are on. Now, I'm two minutes late because I didn't come out here earlier. To my defense, I was up from 3 o'clock to a little after 5 o'clock and fell back asleep. So, what are you going to do? Anyway, it's a brisk. It's cold out here today. Cold. We got, we were, oh, son, there it is, baby. Woo! We were uh, spoiled. Even though my allergies are have been horrendous, they were horrible yesterday. Today, I got a good supply of pills on me. Yeah, so far, not horrible. I think I got to stick with the, the sinus, the 12-hour sinus. That seems to be doing the best trick. And I'm on an antibiotic, so whatever. This thing will not go away. Um, but anyway, rise and grind, everybody. This is a Friday morning. I, I work for the government. There is mail delivery tomorrow. I will be working tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's going to rain all day. So that's... And it's cold rain, too. It's going to be a high of 58. So not looking forward to tomorrow, but... At least the pollen's not going to be flying around. That's the only thing I can look at. But um, not much really to say. This is the deadline. Today is the deadline of I had in my head about Stefan Gilmore. Um, to me, this is the only thing um, that I'm confused about. If he didn't have a deal from Dallas, if he didn't have a deal from Dallas, why wouldn't he just accept the Ravens' offer? Right? Let me say that again. If he did not get a deal from Dallas, and Ravens are the only deal on the table, one of two things are going on. Ravens' deal was low, and he's just going to wait. Whereas he's got that labrum. I did hear, I, people have reached out to me. He did have the labrum surgery. He's in no rush to sign, but I think the price goes down for Gilmore if, if he doesn't sign. One of his best friends is Brandon Cooks, but Gilmore's a professional. If you remember, Gilmore came out and said he wouldn't mind a reunion with New England, which tells me that the Ravens deal wasn't all that. So... I don't know that we're going to hear anything today. I think he may be in that rehab slash wait and see. Maybe Dallas doesn't pick up a corner and they get one in free agency after the draft, which is quite possible. There we go. I need my sunglasses. We're re-entering the atmosphere, people. Re-entering. Here we go. Woo! I love it. I love the sun. I just can't wait till it's warm. I can't wait till the pool's open got the reggae music or whatever music you're into floating around with an umbrella drink getting ready for the season but um yeah so I don't know I don't really expect Gilmore to do anything today uh, I'm hoping Dallas we did hear that Dallas did offer Hankins something it was probably low and Hankins is like nah I ain't doing that yet again so it is what it is. Let's see what happened. I did do a mock draft yesterday. For whatever reason, Brad, this goes out to Primetime Phil. This goes out to Brad Harris. Something's going on 
with JPJ. Jackson Powers Johnson, the center out of Oregon. Um, Daniel Jeremiah does, did not have him in his first round. Or, I mean, Mel Kuyper did not have him in his first round. Jeremiah, I put him at 24 to the Cowboys. Something's going on with the medicals there. Uh, they know. They are in the know, but they are not going to release it. They're going to make the teams figure it out on their own. So I don't know what's going on with the center from Oregon. They must have got some kind of issue with the uh, medicals. Maybe a knee. Sounds like a knee type thing, maybe. Or a back. A knee or a back. I don't know. This is what happens when you don't... You know, and you know, HIPAA laws are not required to. If these teams want to know what's wrong with them, let them do the legwork. I always thought there was a... And maybe there is. But at least the media don't know. Or... Yeah, the media scouts don't know everything. But Jeremiah seems to be in on it. And... Uh, Mel Kuyper Jr., you know, the godfather of uh, the mock drafts, he seems to know something because he doesn't even have him on his board in the first round, which when I did a mock draft yesterday, he was there. I dropped out of the second round. They got him at the top of the second. So something going on. Something is definitely going on. I got bad news from my partner, Phil. If he's there at 24, I think Dallas trades down. I don't think they stick and pick them. I would. I want to recoup that fourth round pick. Is what I want to do. So. I don't know. We'll see. I think they want a left tackle, Phil. I think T.J. Bass is going to play center for us. They may draft a center, but they're not going to a draft one in the first couple rounds. They're going to try and trade back and recoup that fourth round pick. Which means we will be going away from a JPJ who may actually be there now. Ah, I would have to know what's going on. To me, if you're if he's good enough to take in the second, then he's good enough to take a 24. You, most teams won't have 24 first round graded players. So I actually believe this might be a year where they trade down into the high 20s and then trade again into the 30s in the first somewhere within the first 10 picks of round two you want to be as high as possible that way you'll have high low high like if you know what i mean um so that's what i think is going to happen so we could be sitting there on day one with no draft pick but if we can get the pick in the 30s and recoup um and get a four and a three in doing so. Let's say we get a third for yeah you know, for dropping down to thirty, and then we get a fourth yeah you know, for dropping to thirty-seven or something. You know, let's say. So then we'll have a two, two threes, a four, two fives. You know what I mean? Uh, and you'll that's where all those guys I like are. But again, if if Jackson Powers Johnson's there, a uh, Fountaino out of Washington is there, I'm drafting him. The receivers, I know Ultra Cowboy keeps saying you can't uh, go away from a, of a receiver. I still don't believe they're going to draft one of 24. I, I'm sticking with that. Uh, next order of business to my Eagle Nation, my Eagle subscribers. We got good news for you. We got really, really good news for the Eagles fans. Well, there's good and there's bad, okay? The good news is... The NFL did not even bring up outlawing the tush push. As we sit here today, the tush push is alive and well, and you are allowed to do it. So you can push your tushes to your heart's content. So the Eagles, there's no conspiracy out to get you. The tush push is alive. Now that's the good news. The bad news is... You don't have Jason Kelsey to do the pushing. You know what I'm saying? Jason Kelsey was the key to the tush push. Mark my words. He was the key. So you're going to have the tush push, but no 
but no pusher, in my opinion. We'll see. We'll we'll see how good you do with the tush push this year. I'm stuck behind a friggin' truck, a bus. I need a swig. I need a deep swig of this coffee. I went with the this morning. I went with uh, Tim Hortons. I'm a big, big Tim Hortons fan. With a little sugar-free chocolate caramel. So we got a Tim Horton. And some would say ruined it with a little flavor. But I did have a, a previous cup of Tim Hortons. Which would show why I'm awake as much as I am. But I had that just straight. So I'm going to add a little something to it. Let me, let me sit. Let me sit. Best cup of coffee you ever had. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, real quick here. Um, shout out. I went over the 3,000 subscriber mark. So thank you to everybody. Um, I really appreciate everybody. It's been cool. Mark has set this. I don't do enough videos. Now that I'm back to work today, maybe. I don't know. I don't do enough videos to get the subscribers like that. But Mark wants me to reach the 5,000 mark. He originally said 3,000 by draft. Okay, we're a month away from the draft. So now he's saying 5,000. 5,000 subscribers by the time we get to the draft. Now, I tell you, the only way that's going to happen is if everybody hits the like button and shares it on Twitter and whatever, whatever. Just... You know, that's the only way that's going to happen. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Um, you know, and I got a text from somebody. I'll end with this. <coughs> I got a text from somebody that was at the star and they saw Trey Lance out on the field throwing darts all over the field. Here we go. It's starting to... Um, it's starting to leak out. His strong arm compared to Dak's arm. And Dak does not have a weak arm. With uh, nobody... Not main receivers. These were practice squad receivers. Or who, I don't even know exactly who they were. But Trey Lance was throwing darts all over the field. Looked wonderful. We're going to start hearing this more and more. The longer this Dak Prescott, a contract... I got to get off the street. This is a joke. As long as this Dak Prescott thing lingers on, which they're not even talking, so um, it's going to linger on. The more we're going to hear how great Trey Lance looks. And that's nothing but... That's good news. I'm not here to crap on it. Let's go, bus. Let's go. Come on. I... Fucking turn, and I got stuck behind a, a a bus. Who's gonna be? There ain't no railroad tracks. Let's roll, Bronco Nation. Let's ride. Um, no offense, but it was the short bus. I'm just gonna say that it was the short bus. Nothing against the short bus, but the short bus driver. Anyway, um. So we're going to start hearing more and more about Trey Lance looking, throwing darts all over the field. He needs all the reps. He's only throwing 100 passes in the NFL. That's it. Everybody wants to say he's a failure. No, something went on. He didn't like Kyle. Kyle. Maybe it was Brock Purdy's uh, insecurity. He didn't want Trey Lance in the same locker room because he made him look small. Because Trey Lance is a big boy. Trey Lance is bigger than Dak. Faster stronger, but it, I'm just saying. So, this is the other thing I'll say as I near my destination. I just wish, now I know this is not what they do, but if Dallas has no intentions of signing Dak to a long-term deal, what does it hurt by saying it? What does it hurt by saying it? It's not like Dak's gonna not try and play hard. What does it hurt by... Just coming out and saying we're going to let Dak play on his final year. 
We didn't hear that. So that tells me that that's not the plan. But, again, we don't know, which is the most frustrating part. We're left out in the dark. We're left out in the dark not to know nothing. So, anyway, there'll be more on this at 2 o'clock Eastern, live from the mail truck. I believe I... I hope, let's... Let's... Cross our fingers that I get my Mercedes van back today. Let's cross our fingers. All right, game time, Brian. Otherwise known as the mailman. Two o'clock, e two o'clock Eastern. Like, share, please. And if you're watching this for the first time, subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to hit the the bell, the little bell notification. I got far too many people who who say, "Oh, I'm always missing the start of your lunchtime chats." Hit the bell. You'll get an alert on your phone. Peace. Late.